morning guys it's wednesday morning got the old money pit warming up so i was supposed to do some crane mass today I told y'all that yesterday i had two loads but uh that actual location we're picking up from is uh too wet from all the rain so we we'll have to wait on that they have to uh he said they were floating i doubt it it was flooded that bad but Said they have to stack them up and stuff before we can even go over there. So I'm sure today is not a not gonna happen with that crane mats. But I did get me a rebar load. It's uh, picking up in Grand Prairie, going to Louisville. So uh, we're fixing to hop in the truck and head over there. Remember rebar? I don't like it because you know uh, a lot of times they slide it off the trailer. But I think I have an idea for that. I'll show y'all when we get there, so they won't rip up my uh, my rub rails. All right, well, let's get up here and uh, get rolling. All right, guys, I just got loaded. This is probably the lightest rebar load I've ever done. This is one bundle. But see what I did with my dunnage? I put two of them for every, every row, and I put it past the rub rail on both sides so when they slide it off, it won't uh, mess up my rub rail. So let's see if that works. But man, I thought I was going to get a full load. But oh well, hey, can't complain, right? Let's get strapped up. All right, guys, that's kind of windy. But when we made it here to Louisville, I think that's the Kellogg's plane. It says Kellogg's on there. But yeah, they're uh, redoing the parking lot. Not redoing the whole thing, but you know, the bad spots. See, that's what they need the rebar for. He's doing these patches. You know, these uh, big heavy trucks at these docks, you know, I mean, once it rains and rain gets under the concrete, it starts breaking it up. So, uh, I was supposed to have another one of these, but they canceled that one too. I think because all the rain. It's been so, uh, so wet. You know, it's, uh, it's not drying out quick enough. But I've been looking on the uh, load board and it's pretty fucking dead. <clears throat> so I don't know. I called on one load, but they were already, those have already been covered. Called my buddy and uh, his connects. They're uh, they're not really running, so it must be the you know the the week in between Christmas and New Year's is always a little slow because nobody wants to work and you know end of year budgets and stuff. Everybody kind of slows down their uh, jobs. But I'll keep looking until I get unloaded. And we'll see. Maybe an early day. I have no idea.
As soon as I got in my little car to go home, I put it in reverse. I got a phone call saying his masks were ready. So Sunnyvale to Keller. Went ahead and picked it up. I was originally supposed to do two of those, but remember they canceled the, those, uh, canceled these last night. They said it was too muddy. But I uh, ended up calling saying uh, they're ready. So I'm doing one, and I'm going to go ahead and preload the second one, and I'll deliver that first thing in the morning. So, uh, yeah. Got real lucky because there was nothing on low board. But luckily, we're not in the street anymore. I backed in this time. Yesterday, I was out on the street doing it. So, makes it a little safer. But all right, well, let's uh, get unloaded, then we'll go get that preload. All right, guys, so we got that preload, and uh, I drove back to the shop, parked it. I noticed I got a leaky wheel seal, so I think tomorrow I'm just gonna do those, uh, deliver that one, and then I got two more. I'm just gonna do those and then take it to the shop and get that wheel silver placed. But, uh, you know, yesterday I got that Lotes and my son, he's four. <laughs> he was so upset I didn't get him one because I got one for me, one for my wife. So I had to stop and get him one. I'll take that home to him. But, you know, since I got him one, you know, oh, fat Papa had to get him one. So, yeah. But, yeah. So I need to take my truck to the shop, get my wheel silver replaced. Uh, it's leaking everywhere. Just now noticed it, but I don't want to cancel my load. So just got to make sure I don't get pulled over, you know. That's probably out of service right there. And uh, my hood hinge. One of the bolts fell out, so it's just on there. So I'm going to get that replaced too. I already, already ordered it on Amazon, so... I may just have the mechanic do it instead of me since it'll already be there. But. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. That is so good. But all right, thanks for uh, watching. We'll keep on going this uh, last week of Christmas, or not Christmas of the year. We'll see how it turns out.